There's more distractions today than there was the last time, which I expected. I kind of did that on purpose. Finding hiking boots for women is extremely difficult. Let me tell you that now. One, boots don't need sexes. Morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, Riddler? Do you even care? No. How are we, Emerald? Dude, I would rather find something else to do. How are we doing, Sassy? Say, I'd rather chew on my leg. So, today is class day. Woo! Um, I hope I did better on the homework. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, then I need to run and buy hiking boots. I need to go to Walmart and do that. And maybe Ed's discount shoes. Um, part of me wants to pack a lunch and part of me really doesn't. <laughs> That's a problem, but oh well, we'll get it figured out. Um, brain fart. So... Right now, I'm getting dressed for the day. I've been up since 7.30. <laughs> I've had dogs fighting on me. Well, not literally fighting, but I mean they're playing. Some wild wines. There's a wild wine, and there's a wild wine. You boys are very wild. Do you want to say hi to your internet friends? Nope. Right there. Hey. <gasps> Mwah. Emerald, you want to say hi? Say no, I want to chew on my brother. So now I'm going to get dressed for the day and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so right now I'm in my car. Um, <clears throat> after class, oh class was stressful. I was getting anxious because there was parts of what we were learning in class that I just could not understand how to do. And we had to solve things and I'm just like, ah. And now I've kind of got myself a little bit down. Um, I, I've mentioned to you guys before that I'm looking for jobs. And pretty much everywhere I've applied, I've either not heard from them, have not really gotten an answer or was told I need to fill out more things, or um, was told to wait until basically the season starts. So, um, yeah, that's my situation right now. And it's kind of got me down. I feel bad for harassing Petco over and over again, asking about if they see my application. That's where I've been told, like, oh, you need to fill this part out. Well, I haven't seen your application. Go through, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, and then I've looked at the pet land, though I'm don't really support pet land honestly but you know I'll do whatever um Chick-fil-A I've not heard from and just so many things so it's getting me even more anxious because besides that I'm low on money I have this feeling like you need to be hired by now you need to have a job by now um if I could get a keeper position like I'm wanting like if that were to happen, that'd have to be after my internship, so I may also just, I may consider looking at the zoo or the aquarium and just, even just selling tickets. At this point, I just need a job somewhere. I was told to look at AZA, which is like <clears throat> Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or is it Aquariums and Zoo Association, either way. And they have jobs there, but those jobs are out in, like, Arizona, Arizona, blah, and Chicago, and California, places that I can't afford to live in or move out because I don't have money to do anything. So, I'm kind of stressing out right now. I'm not I'm kind of getting a little bit down. I'm trying so hard to get hired, but it's just not working out. So... We'll see what happens. But now I'm going to go to my mom's office, probably play FaceTime with her and her co-workers, 
and then go and get hiking boots. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so right now I am getting me some lunch at Taco Bell. So exciting. Um, I feel a lot better after playing phase 10 with my mom and her coworkers. I love all of them. They're fantastic. Um, and then I was told that <clears throat> there's a salvage store up here that is selling all sorts of shoes and they should be cheaper. So I'm quite excited. I'm going to go there. Um, may go apply for a place called Grandpa's, which is like this boarding facility for dogs. And it's fantastic. I love it. Um, then maybe go home, let the puppy play for a little bit and then might take him to tractor supply for training. We'll see. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Hey guys, so there's Emeril. I know you're needing to sniff all the things. We are at Tractor Supply and he's doing all right. There's more distractions today than there was the last time, which I expected. I kind of did that on purpose. And I'm getting, we're in the bathroom so he can be in a strange room. What are you eating? No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Hey. Um. He's a little overwhelmed, I can tell, but I think he'll be all right. What are you eating? Stop. <laughs> so we're in the bathroom to give him a really quick break. Let him just sniff things and then we'll go back out to work. Um, I've already gotten the comment of, oh, it's so good what you're doing for somebody else. And it's for me, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let little bit have a moment I know. I'm not letting you do what you want. I'll have a, I'll let little bit have a little break, and I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so there's Sassy Girl, and she's wagging her tail. Well, she was. Are you wagging your tail, Sassy Girl? I love you. And there's Emerald. Hi, honey. Hi, little fluff butt. <laughs> I love you. Oh, look at those pretty eyes. Yes. So, the trip to Tractor Supply went pretty well. Um, he was a little more distracted than normal, which I figured would happen. There were some more people, and there was also a couple of dogs in there. One of them was a yippy dog in a cart, and he was so distracted by the yipping. Um, I had him doing his normal things like sit, stay, focus, that kind of thing. We worked a lot on heel. Which wasn't that good. <laughs> um, he got it a couple of times. And then near the end, he was just done. I had points where, like, at one point I took him in the bathroom and took his vest off, let him have a break. I had cuddle breaks with him where I just sat there and cuddled with him to calm him down because he was getting a little bit work. He sometimes seemed like he was a little overwhelmed. <laughs> But, of course, Mom had the treats, and that's what mattered for him. Um, I got him to stand on weird things, like on metal shelves and on wooden pallets, and he was fine with it. I even got him to um, sit on both the shelf and the pallet, so yay, new surfaces. He met some new people. Um, he got to meet... This is going to sound extremely racist. He got to meet a black person for the first time. Um, he didn't actually get to go meet him, meet him, because the guy was busy, but he caught sight of him and just looked at him. Because I know that's one of the things, is they have to, like, be used to seeing people of all sorts of colors, nationalities, ethnicities, whatever. And he was fine with it. He was just like, ooh, person. So, that was good. He met a lot of women, pretty much, and a couple of men. And there was one man who just... Flato just went by him like nothing was going on, and he sat there. So I think he did pretty well. Did you do good, buddy? See, when I got home, I napped. I took me a nap. Because I worked really hard. Yes, I did. And note to self, I saw this in a vlog from Days at a Time. Hi, Kaylee! And... Now, I feel like I'd want this. It looks like a black hammock kind of thing. That's how I've been describing it. It's a hammock. that you put in your car, like, it loops over... 
It loops over the headrest of your front seats and your back seats. And you put your dog in it. And from what it looks like, the dog can't go over it. And he can't, like, fall through from the seat down into the floorboard. And I'm like, you know, MRL needs this. I think that would definitely help him with his car manners. I mean, he's been doing better. He still drools a lot in the car. I learned it's not pee, it's drool. Um, because he'll get nervous, but he'll sit or he'll lay down, whatever. So, eventually I would like to do that. And eventually I need to get in contact with the trainer that I had been talking to. Um, I put up a post on... Facebook, there's a group called Positivity Only Service Dogs, or something like that. It's a wonderful group. Um, and I was asking about prong collars, because I am I was starting to consider whether or not to start working MRL on a prong collar. Especially since healing is kind of eh. And automatically, I regretted <laughs> posting it. A lot of people are like, don't put him on a prong yet, he's too young. So then my brain automatically went, oh, now they all think you're stupid. Then again, I'm also a first-time trainer, so I don't know. The last time I ever used a prong collar was on a goat. Yeah, that's that's a story all by itself. I used to show goats, we'll put it that way, and they are least trained. Um, but I also had somebody ask if I'm working with a trainer, which I will be. I guess I could go ahead and get that started. Because consultation's free! Yay! But for now... I'm still broke, still unemployed, can't afford anything. I want to buy that freaking hammock, but I cannot because I'm broke. So, there you go. And I also got my new boots, which they're downstairs drying because they've been sprayed down with a water guard kind of thing to make them waterproof. Finding hiking boots for women is extremely difficult. Let me tell you that now. One, boots don't need sexes. I was ranting about boots having sexes. Like, they don't... Hiking boots and work boots, they look the same. Why would it matter? So, it was an absolute pain. But I have them now, so my rain boots can officially be retired. Yay! And I look forward to wearing them on Saturday when I go back to work. Um... No, I'm super tired, but I really, really need to clean my room, put away my clothes. I need to get a shower. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that I need to do before I go to bed. So, let's see what I can get done. Hey, guys! So, there's Emeril, who climbed all the way up to the bed by himself. Emeril, you're such a big boy. Yeah, you are. I love you. And then there's Sassy and Riddler over on the couch. Riddler may or may not get on the bed at some point. Um. I was going to tell you guys something. I suddenly was like, what? Eh, oh well. So, got my room cleaned. As much as I was willing to do. <laughs> got clothes put away. I realized the box that my new boots came in is a great place to put MRL's treats and ah, don't chew on my quilt. No. Um, great place to put his treats, his nail clippers that I finally found, um, his brush, and the rock. So, and I can also keep his rabies tag and his medical record on top of the box, so I remember. Um, the rabies tag is not on his collar just yet, mainly because I need someone with nails. Because, as you see, I have none. Hashtag joys of anxiety. Oh -ho! Um, I also got my pants sewed. Because I keep getting holes in the inner thighs, which is really annoying. Um, and pants are expensive, so... Just sew them up the best I can. And now... Oh, to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... What do you think, buddy? What is a question of the day? Say, if you have a service dog, what was your dog's first public outing? Like, where did they go and how did they do? So, as you guys have seen from an earlier vlog, 
MRL's first outing was on the 17th, and he went to Tractor Supply, and he did really, really good. But we continue to improve and grow, don't we, buddy? So put your answers down below. Say down below. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Emeril. I love you. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Riddler. Sweet dreams.